look of absolute terror on your face really sustains me, especially around this time of year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, everybody. I didn't see you there. Um, hello, Internet friends. Um, I am the Gaming Muso, um, but for the Christmas period, I would like to be referred to as the Holly Jolly Gaming Muso. We now reach day 15 of Hugo's advent calendar on the nostalgia nerd <laughs> I mean, on the nostalgia nerd extra channel let's see what he's been up to today rumble sits on the bed wearing a frozen expression his father tries to reach him but gets no response rumble i'm sure it'll turn out to be a great boarding school it's only a five hour drive rumble begins to grasp what's happening his breathing returns to normal. Dad, will I be able to come home for Christmas, or do I have to celebrate it in Sun Valley in 90 degrees heat? The worst thing that can happen to an elf is to celebrate Christmas without snow, rice pudding, or Christmas cheer. Rumble's father stands his ground. Despite Rumble's reluctance to leave, he is convinced that he's made the right decision for him. Rumble pulls out his suitcase from underneath the bed and begins packing. He fails to notice a blind passenger. The little mouse hides amongst his clothing. Rumble's father has readied the car. Small white snowflakes gently fall, covering everything in a silent quilt. Complete silence. Not even Rumble's father has anything to say. They reach the school and Rumble jumps out. Above the great marble door is a sign which reads, Duty School for Elves. Hell, thinks Rumble to himself as he kicks the gravel. You'll do just fine, son. His father gets back into the car and drives away. Rumble is left standing alone. He picks up his suitcase and heads towards the door. <laughs> 